folks, Thomas Stinson here with ThomasStinson.com, and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question comes in from a comment, and it's really talking about, hey, I went through and I learned all this information around Hadoop, but this can apply to anything, right? Like, but it's basically, I didn't get the job after going through all this training. Should I give up? Should I learn something new? What is your advice? So find out right after this. So today's question comes in from a viewer and it's around, hey, I didn't get the job, I didn't get the role that I was wanting after going through a Hadoop course. But this could be about anything, right? So like if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I don't even do Hadoop, I mean, you know, I'm here for the career tips around IT, then just pay attention, right? Because this this can apply to anything, right? Like I, I went through this after I had a college degree, right? Like I went through so many different opportunities where I was applying for roles and I just didn't get them. So this is about what do you do from that? So you know, I'm going to break it down and just kind of talk like what I've went through and what I believe in, in life in general, right? Like the whole point around going through, you know, say specifically going around a course, right? Like if you're going through a course and you're like, hey, I'm going to get certified in Hadoop if certification is your thing, right? Like I'm going to go through and do the Hortonworks one, or I guess it's just Cloudera at this point, or even Splunk, right? I'm going to go through and get the Splunk certification because I want to get another role, right? Like I want, I want to excel, like, you know, salaries are high in this role and I, and I want to be there, right? Maybe a certification, maybe just learning the skills or what you're doing. But what happens when you don't get that, right? Like it's no guarantee that you're going to go through and you're going to learn. Let's just, let's leave and take certifications out of this. Cause I don't want to get into the, how people talk about, well, certifications are just how well you are taking about tests. That's another topic we can, we can talk about somewhere else, but just think about it from the perspective of, you're going in and you're learning something, right? Like I'm going to learn a ton about Splunk. I'm going to go through and understand, or maybe, you know, that's something, something I've been doing on the side because I want to get into that, right? You know, salaries are really high for Splunk and Splunk is in a lot of demand. Same thing we could be saying in Docker, right? So how do you deal with not being able to, you know, land that role? Well, it's not guaranteed. So that's one of the things you really need to understand is that you're not guaranteed a role by learning something. However, I truly believe this, learning and going through that process is going to help you. By going through and learning, you're practicing. It goes back to one of the things that I've done and I've tried to recreate is, you know, 30 minutes of learning. Try to do it every day. It doesn't always happen, but it is a staple for me to learn new technologies and to be hands on and really to kind of expand and understand what I'm doing. Does that guarantee that I'm going through right now learning Docker that I'm going to get a role in Docker or that I even want one? No, but it's going to continue to help me to understand and to learn and to just be able to talk more, be able to, I mean, I'm talking here in, in this, in this fashion. And so I'm being able to talk about Docker or talk about things that are going on in distributed systems, or it could be something as you know, simple as how do I do SEO for blogging? But none of that's really going to kind of, focus in on just getting that role. One of the things you have to understand is as you're applying for different roles, if you're really only looking at one or two specific roles, it's going to be really hard to kind of get in there. So it's, it's something that's continual. So you have to, you have to buy into the process that I've learned this, but I didn't just learn this just to get this role. I'm learning this to become better, to understand more. And I know that I'm not guaranteed to learn it today and get a job in two months, right? It might be three months, it might be a year down the road. I've taken year, a year and a half to, to move in and to transition into other roles throughout my career. And it just had to buy into the process. And I'm not saying that it's fun. I mean, it sucks, right? Like, you know, you, you, you go through all these things and you're like, man, this is what I really want to be doing. This is what I really want to be driving to. And it just doesn't happen, right? You have to wait. Like nobody wants to wait. Like we're at a, we're at a point now where Amazon is delivering things from drones, right? Because of the fact that we're so impatient. Like we want, we, we want things now, we want things now more than we ever have. But in the long game, you're gonna have to have a long-term plan and be okay with having that long-term plan. My particular specifics to you is, it sucks right now that you went through, you, you're, you're, you're in the middle of that, all right, I've got the technical knowledge, I feel like to get that junior or that associate's role, or maybe you're, mid-level career and you're trying to transition over and you're like, I have all this experience, new technology here that I'm learning. I want to be able to apply this. And 
you have to wait, you know, a year to a year and a half. And I know there's some boot camps out there that promise you a job, you know, as, as you go through that. And I'm sure there are, some of them are great and I'm sure some of them are, and I'm sure some of them don't give you a role, right? And, or you land in a role that you won't, don't want to. So nothing is guaranteed in any of this, but I, I, I promise and I guarantee you this, that even though I said that there was no guarantees, there is a guarantee to this. I believe in this, that if you continue to put in the work and continue to learn and you continue to hone the crap and you don't give up on trying to find that next role, you're going to be successful at it. And it's not saying that, you know, if you came out of high school or you came out of college thinking, I'm going to land a role at Facebook and you continue and you try on, you put in the work and you do, do the things you're supposed to do. I think there are some interesting ways that you can get in there, but it's nothing's guaranteed, right? But maybe that's not what you want. Maybe you end up finding a role that is at Twitter or at Netflix or at some small startup that nobody's ever heard of, right? That you're really happy at. But I think learning that process, you really understand and you really become better. And that's going to teach you for later on in life as you go through different challenges. So sorry that you didn't get the role as, as soon as, as soon as you want, but I guarantee you, if you don't give up and this is, I'm, I'm not selling you anything with this guarantee, but I'm just promising you that to continue to watch videos like this, listen to podcasts, being involved in the community, creating content, applying, networking, trying those, all the things that people won't do. You're going to put yourself ahead and you're going to come out on top. One thing I, I, I don't know if that I've ever shared this, but, trying to see how old this book is. But when I graduated college, this was a book, and this is an amazing book. It's part of the Pragmatic series, Pragmatic Bookshelf. So I'm not even sure if they make this anymore, but one of the best, it was called Land the Tech Job You Love. Only about a little over 200 pages, but there were a lot of things in here that really kind of focused in on the process for finding a role. And a lot of it was a lot of the small things that I will say a lot of my friends did not do. and they kind of looked at me later on in life when we've had conversations where they were like, you were so lucky to find a role. But the thing is, I mean, I probably applied to over 50, 60, 70 different roles. I did all the small things, made sure I sent out cover letters, did, you know, all the things. And this was, this was a long time ago. There's a lot of, a lot of different newer things that maybe could be updated in a, in a book similar to this, but it's, I made a process. I did, I did, I did a list. And then even when I transitioned to a different role some years back, I created my own process where it was, hey, every week I set myself on a quota that I was going to reach out to this many people or try, you know, try cold emails and other things like that and try calling and following up with folks, doing the things that were was uncomfortable. All those little things start to add up because you never know when you're going to get that shot. So don't give up. I promise you, you're going to you're going to find something and you're going to find some more stuff about yourself as you go through this process. So if you have a question. For big data, big questions, make sure you put it in the comment section here below or reach out to me and I will do my best to answer it here. Big data.